big uh, welcome to every one of you to today's game. I'm Martin Tyler, and the biggest welcome from me is to Alan Smith alongside me. Sydney FC versus Perth Glory. Well, they're proud of the name, the Perth Glory. It's not always glory for them. Can you see glory today, Alan Smith? Well, they could and should have done better. They should be in one of those playoff places. I know there's still time to recover their position, but uh, I think the manager's got his work cut out to achieve that. The line-up for the home side. I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and solid, but they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own right, but uh, in front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they could be a threat on the front foot, we'll wait and see. This is how the visitors shape up. Probably one of the two front men will slip behind the other and, and augment the midfield when required. I think so. If they start getting overloaded in the middle of the park, that's always an option for this manager who does like to fill his midfield. Charge Pat Framlow. A lot of build up. Finally, we're underway for the game itself. Wilkinson. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Good play, but they've lost the ball now, and the opposition can get at them. Comes in with a tackle. This could be a very good contest, Alan, because obviously the, uh, the team that are visiting today won the reverse match, so... They've got a little bit of a psychological edge, but of course they're uh, a fair way away from home. Yeah, they are, and uh, you know, as we know, psychologically it has an effect, so we'll see if they can cope with that today. And it didn't cause too much confusion, that cross in the end. Looking to play his teammate through. Short passes. Keeping the ball. Well, they passed their way up into a good position here and then just lost the concentration, lost the ball as well. And they've got to work hard to try and get it back. Presented possession to the opposition now. Good through pass. Good defending. And the whistle has gone because the assistant flag for offside. Wilkinson. Probing away, trying to find room for a shot, maybe. And that's broken up by the defender before the cross could come in. Very well done with the inside of the head as well as the outside. Good pass. That's how to tackle. Gone for the 
through pass. He's got his shot off now. We're going to get a corner here because of that deflection. Straight to the opposition. Mills. Keo. Can't keep the ball at the moment. Here's Grant. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they still got the ball. Good distance to the clearance then. And Griffiths. He'll need to try and get the ball back now. Not a nice challenge. What will the ref do? You feel here, Alan, that the home team would take a draw. And the away fans, they expect their side to come here and win. And uh, at the moment, obviously, it's level. And uh, they feel that there's time wasting going on. Yeah, well, I think they came into this tie as favourites. They fully expected to win, so it hasn't really gone according to the script. Attacking now. Shane Lowry came in with the challenge and the ball broke free. Referee's had a good look and decided what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. Doing well to keep the ball. The shot's on! Got in the way. And there is the half-time whistle. Nil-nil at the break. It seemed quite a long wait for that half-time whistle. We've not really been kept on the edge of our seats here. And I'm sure there's better to come in the second half. Well, you'd hope so. They're trying to show the first half highlights up on the big screen, but it's only lasted a couple of seconds. It was instantly forgettable, that. So the second half is underway. Room for improvement, shall we say? Yeah, give it a, a C minus, but hoping for an A plus in the second half. Now Griffiths. Well, this is great teamwork. The way they're knocking the ball around. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. The goalkeeper will get this one, no problem. Poloshko, he's coming forward with some danger. Poloshko! They've scored, they've taken the lead! Tucked it away, well out of the goalkeeper's reach. And I love to see that. Don't have to whack it from that kind of position. Just side-footed home. And here is another angle on that goal. Decided to make a change. 
And being behind, you can understand that. So, finally, the stalemate is broken here, and we have a goal. Trying to stretch the opposition, using the wider areas here. There's good progress with this attack. To bring them level. Oh, that could have been the equaliser, so close. Here's Williams. We've got the away manager indicating he wants to make a substitution now. Shots on! He's blocked that well. Presented possession to the opposition now. Filippo Loshko. On to the attack now. They'll need to try and get the ball back now. Well, it's easy here for the keeper. Keo. Well, they're in a good position here. Ah, that's one he'd like to see again, a back heel, brilliant. To level it up now, beautifully placed, into the corner of the net. Well, one team is very happy here, and one team is very frustrated. And yet, you wouldn't have expected that kind of gap between these two. They deservedly lead. Well, they've knocked the ball about well, Martin, and uh, knocked it about with confidence. And as you say, they're two evenly matched sides, so that's been a big achievement for them. And the managers decided for a change of personnel. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. So let's have a look at the possession stats on the screen now. There they are. Yeah, very close. I think you could probably tell that without even looking at the figures. Not much to split these two sides. It's a shot now! Super stop by the goalkeeper, and he's hung on to the ball as well. Nice interplay between the two of them. He went in well. Stopped emphatically, and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. The shot's on! Reflected behind, a clear corner. It's a change here, and I think it might be a tactical one. <laughs> Ten minutes left of regular time. Filippo Loshko. Oh, he's through. Brilliant team. What a chance now. Got to be. Both teams fighting hard to get a goal to go ahead. Still all square.
Well, it's a bold move. Extra attacker on, and it's good to see as they try to go on and win this game. Well, I think we all like to see that so often these days. It's just a lone striker, but uh, with two up top, you give yourself an extra chance. Now it's five minutes to go. Keeping an eye on the time here. We still could have a decisive moment in the short time that remains. Diego Castro. Three minutes to be added on. Now Grant. Possession in the midfield area. <laughs> Referee has blown his whistle. It's finished 1-1. One, one. Well, there were lots of moments in a very enjoyable match where you thought it's just going to tilt one way or the other, but it didn't quite pan out like that, and here we are with a draw. No, you really couldn't separate them in terms of their quality, in terms of the shapes. They matched up like for like with the formations, and uh, yeah, no surprise to draw. Poloshko is coming forward with some danger. Poloshko! And they've scored, they've taken the lead. Ah, that's one he'd like to see again, a back heel, brilliant. To level it up now, beautifully placed into the corner of the net. 